Tensions across the Taiwan Strait are escalating, and Taiwan is considering a massive arms purchase from the United States to strengthen its defense capabilities. Reports suggest that Taiwan is evaluating a $15 billion package, which would include 60 F-35 fighter jets, 400 Patriot missiles, for E-2D Hawkeye early warning aircraft, 10 second-hand warships, and the Aegis combat system. This proposed purchase not only aims to enhance Taiwan's defense but also signals to the United States, especially the incoming Trump administration, Taiwan's resolve to fortify its own defenses in the face of rising Chinese military aggression. Central to this potential arms deal is the Lockheed Martin F-35 fighter jet, a fifth-generation stealth aircraft. The F-35 is considered a major deterrent against Chinese aggression, with advanced stealth capabilities, supersonic speed, and excellent maneuverability. The F-35 is equipped with a sophisticated sensor suite, including the Enslash APG-81 ASA radar, distributed aperture system, DS, and electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, giving it superior situational awareness and targeting precision. Taiwan is particularly interested in the F-35B model, which can perform short takeoffs and vertical landings, an essential feature for Taiwan in case major airbases are hit by Chinese missile strikes. However, concerns have been raised about the high costs and potential delays in delivery, which may stretch beyond 2027, a timeline that experts see as critical given the increasing possibility of Chinese military action around that time. In addition to the F-35, Taiwan has been focusing on upgrading its missile defense systems, particularly the Patriot missile system. The MIM-104 Patriot system is crucial for intercepting a variety of aerial threats, including ballistic and cruise missiles. Taiwan has shown particular interest in the PAC-3 missile segment enhancement variant, which offers extended range and improved accuracy. In December 2022, a U.S. proposal offered Taiwan up to 100 advanced Patriot missiles, valued at $882 million, emphasizing Taiwan's commitment to enhancing its missile defense capabilities. While air and missile defense are key components of Taiwan's strategy, experts believe naval power could offer more immediate strategic value. Taiwan has expressed interest in acquiring decommissioned American warships, such as the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers and Perry-class frigates. These warships would serve as valuable assets in Taiwan's access denial strategy, preventing or delaying a potential Chinese invasion. Additional systems like HIMARS artillery and Harpoon anti-ship missiles, which were included in previous U.S. arms deals, would further strengthen Taiwan's defenses, particularly against amphibious assaults and to safeguard its coastline. Despite these arms deals, there remain concerns about the consistency of U.S. support. During Trump's first term, the U.S. approved arms sales to Taiwan worth over $21 billion, including F-16 fighter jets, M-1 Abrams tanks, and HIMARS rocket systems. However, Trump's pragmatic approach to international relations, where he suggested Taiwan should pay for its security, has raised doubts about the likelihood of direct U.S. military intervention if China were to attack Taiwan. Moreover, Taiwan's role as a global leader in semiconductor production, primarily through Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, adds another layer of complexity to the situation. TSMC plays a critical role in the global supply chain, especially for the U.S. and its allies, making Taiwan an even more significant target for Chinese influence. Beijing could potentially leverage Taiwan's semiconductor industry to exert economic pressure on international responses to a conflict over Taiwan. Taiwan's strategic focus on acquiring F-35 fighter jets and enhancing its missile defense capabilities reflects its determination to bolster its defenses. However, the high cost and long delivery timelines for these advanced systems may limit their immediate effectiveness. Experts suggest that Taiwan should also invest in more accessible deterrent systems, like access denial and naval defense, which could offer more immediate strategic value. Ultimately, Taiwan's defense strategy must be flexible and responsive, balancing technological superiority with practical, on-the-ground capabilities in the face of mounting regional tensions and a shifting global power dynamic. Thank you.